Hi, in this series of videos we're going to be looking at GCSE Maths Walkthrough. Each of the playlists is going to be about four or five videos. Each video will be about 20 minutes long. Please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions and then compare your solutions. If you do need any help, please add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Hi, this is the final video in the playlist where we're looking at the November 2018 Edexcel Higher Tier Paper 1. We're actually only going to be looking at one question today, which is question number 22, as we completed through just about to question number 21 on the uh, previous video. OK, so let's have a look at question number 22. And it's one of those probability tree type questions. There's only green pens and red and blue pens in a box. Three more blue, blah, blah, Simon. OK, that's good. Good to know. Uh, it's going to take at random two pens from the box. OK, so let's have a look then at how we can work that out. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to start by looking at a probability tree. Now, this is the last question in the paper, so it is a little bit tricky to kind of get used to how these questions are kind of um, written, but hopefully this will give you some idea. And I'll try to put together a playlist on more difficult GCSE questions for you as well. OK, so the important thing is, is that we've got to work out these quantities um, of blue and green pens in relation to X at the moment, because all we know is there's more than 12 pens in the box and that there are three more blue pens than green pens. OK, so in other words, if there are X blue pen, uh, for, sorry, X green pens, there are X plus three blue pens. OK, hopefully that will be all right for you. But it also then means that the total amount of pens in the box is going to be two X plus three. So we're in a we're in a, a situation now where we can write out in terms of X the number of green pens and the number of blue pens because we're saying that the number of green pens is X over two X plus three. Okay, so it's X out of two X plus three, and then blue pens is going to be X plus three out of. 2x plus 3. OK, so that's the first situation where we've got these pens in a box. So Simon um, is going to take at random two pens from the box. OK, so the first pick is going to be this over here. OK, hopefully you can see that all right on the screen. So green, blue, green, blue. Sorry, this is the first pick. These are going to be the second pick. OK, so let's say, for instance, the first time round he picks a green pen. OK, so if he picks a green pen, the second time around, there's going to be one less green pen. So it's going to be X minus one over one less pen in the box. So it's going to be two X plus two. OK, if he picked a green pen, then there's the same amount of blue pens left in the box. OK, so that's going to be um, X plus three. All divided. Now, don't forget, there's one pen missing. Oh, sorry, it's going to be X plus two because there's one, he's only got three pens more, so it's actually going to be X plus two. I do apologise. X plus two. And also, he's going to have two X plus two pens in the box. So there's one that's gone. OK, so it's still going to be X plus one less than it was before. OK. Hopefully that's all right. So let's have a look what happens when he picks a blue pen. Well, if he picks a blue pen, then he's going to have only X plus two blue pens out of the same number of pens in the box, two X plus two. OK, 
if he picks a blue pen, there's going to be um, one less pen in the box. So therefore, it's going to be x minus 1 over 2x plus 3. So it's the same argument that we had with this one here. It's going to be one less pen in the box because we don't know the quantity of pens. OK, so it's then a case of saying, well, the probability of picking out uh, two pens of the same colour, according to the question, is going to be 27 over 55. Well, the outcomes are going to be green, green, and right at the very bottom, blue, blue. So that's what happens. Let's look at what happens when he picks out green, green. Well, if he picks out green, green, it's going to be these two branches multiplied together. So I'm going to get x over 2x plus 3 times x minus 1 over 2x plus 2. I'm going to put these in brackets. OK, I'm not going to bother with the top ones. OK, now, if I work that out, I'm going to get x times x minus 1 is the same actually as say x times x is x squared and x times minus 1 is minus x. And at the bottom, OK, when I multiply all that out, I'm going to get, hopefully I can get this on the paper, 4x squared plus 10x plus six. OK, so that's the outcome for green, green. Let's now look at the outcome for blue, blue. And I'm going to multiply these two together. Now, they're just in the interest of space. I'm going to kind of normally I would write this right at the bottom along here, but I need to just uh, conserve the space if I can on this. So if I have a look at doing it at the top here, I'm going to get blue, blue. Well, blue, blue is going to be, as I mentioned, this one multiplied by this one here. OK, so I'll just write that at the very top. I'm going to get x plus 3 multiplied by x min, uh, plus 2, all divided by 2x plus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 2. Well, I know what my bottom is going to be. I've already worked that out as 4x squared plus 10x plus 6. And my top is going to be x squared plus 5x plus 6. x squared plus 5x plus 6. OK, so that's the probability of green, green. And that's the probability of blue, blue. OK, so in order to um, work out this, what we're saying is, is that the probability that Simon will take two pens of the same colour is that. So we need to add these two together and make it equal to 27 over 55. So if I add these two together, I'm going to have um, x squared plus 5x plus 6 plus x squared minus x, all divided. Now, remember, these are the common denominator, so that's OK. I can leave that as 4x squared plus 10x plus 6, and that equals 27 over 55. All right, so let's tidy that up just a little bit more now. So if I tidy that up a little bit more, at the very top, I'm going to get x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. I've got 5x minus x is going to be plus 4x. And then I've got plus 6, all divided by uh, this one, which is going to be 4x squared plus 10x plus 6, and that equals 27 over 55. OK, so there's a little bit of a trick with this one. And a bit of a trick is, is that you'll notice that this is a fraction where I can divide through all the coefficients by 2. And it just makes my life a little bit easier to have slightly smaller numbers to deal with. So I can quite legitimately, it's a bit like saying, you know, the difference between, say, 4, 6 is not any difference. 2 thirds is exactly the same. I've just divided top and bottom by, by 2. And I can do that with this fraction, OK? So if I divide top and bottom by 2, what I end up doing is saying, well, actually, I've got a little, it's not massively simpler, but it is a little bit. I can write this as x squared plus 2x plus 3, all divided by 2x squared plus 5x plus 3, and that equals 
27 over 55. OK, now the next trick then is to cross multiply by what I can say is, well, actually, if I can multiply that one by 55 and that one by 27, it means I can make them equal to each other. So what I can write is along the bottom here, I can write 55 times x squared plus 2x plus 3 equals 27 times 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And then really it's just a case of solving for x. And it's going to be, um, it looks a bit tricky, but actually it's not too bad once you all work it all out. You end up really with 55x squared um, plus 110x plus um, 165 equals 54x squared. And you can see here 55x squared and 54x squared. Well, you're going to end up with just x squared on its own. So that's all right. We can deal with that. Um, then you've got uh, plus 135x. OK, plus 81. OK, so actually, when you finish messing about with all of this, um, if I take 54x squared from both sides, I end up with x squared. If I take 135 away from both x squared, uh, from 110x, I end up with minus 25. If I take 81 away, I end up with uh, something like 84. Um, so in order to factorise this, in other words, find the value of x, I need to make it equal to zero anyway. So I can actually write this then as x squared minus 25x plus 84 equals zero. OK. Now, um, it looks again a little bit scary to have a look at something like that, but... Um, you might recognise that 84 is actually going to be a multiple of um, 4 times 21. And 21 and 4, when you, or minus 21 and minus 4, when you add them together, is going to equal minus 25. So actually, it's fairly straightforward-ish to factorise through as x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 21 equals zero. So what that means is, is we've actually got two values of x. We can say that x equals four or x equals 21. OK, well, if you remember way back when, when we looked at the original question, it says there are more than 12 pens in the box. If there's more than 12 pens in the box, the answer is going to be 21. OK, so therefore, the number of pens in the box, uh, number of X pens, remember that um, we're looking at the number of green pens. OK, green pens, we said was X. So therefore, that's OK. So green is going to be equal to 21 pens. OK. All right. So again, a little bit of a tricky paper. These final few questions on this particular paper are really quite challenging. And, uh, you know, congratulations if you managed to make it through this far. That's really good news. OK, so I hope it's been useful to you. If you're not sure about any of this, please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you and I will look forward to seeing you when we work through paper two.